We're just uh, completing our uh, break-in of a 2000 135 Evinrude. Running them our test tank quite often to uh, break them in for the customer. This one's being shipped to Virginia, I believe. Um, I'd like to talk to, about, to you about the enrichener. Commonly misunderstood, uh, commonly misused part of the motor. And this is the enrichener. Commonly called the choke because that's what it was called for decades. When you have to move a lever or push the key in, it's called a choke. But the reason it's called a choke because before this, the choke was on a carburetor. The motor still has carburetors. It would actually choke the carburetor. It would actually cut the air off. When you're cutting the air off, it's drawing more fuel into it causing it to put fuel, more of a higher amount of fuel into it to start it, which it needs to start. All two strokes need a shot of fuel to really start up. So most four strokes, is, all four strokes as well. So, so that's why they kept the term choke. Unfortunately, that makes everybody misunderstand it because I'm pushing the key in to start it. Why am I doing that? What's happening? Very few people know what's going on. Um, I've got one off the motor here. There it is again. So what it is, very simple, very simple. There's your main fuel supply to the enrichener. It's just teed off the fuel supply that goes to the carburetor. Then you've got little lines that go to the back of each intake. So what happens is, and this is one apart, I took apart for you. The cap is on here like this. Like that. So when you push the key in, it energizes this purple lead, purple and white lead, and it energizes a, a solenoid, and it just pulls this in, and it opens the valve from the large feed hose, five thirty seconds, I guess it's not that large, and it feeds fuel to these little lines that go routed through the motor, and it shoots raw fuel in the engine. So, not only does it help you start the engine, but it can also help you diagnose the motor. One thing to diagnose itself, so customers will call us all the time, motor's not starting well, doesn't start, crank, crank, eventually it starts. It, eventually it will start with no choke. Well, you could have a bad connection with a wire to the enrichener, the bat, enrichener could be bad. So they put, a bypass you just turn it like that that's choke all the time it's just thrown out fuel so if it starts and starts smoking boy i did that and then we get a call back boy it started right away and then you have to manually choke it back honestly that was designed also if you have to start it with a rope if you've got a dead battery out in the ocean and you want to try to get back most motors supply you with a rope there's a little hook here you can actually start up to a 200 horsepower motor with a rope and when you're stuck out in the in the bay, you're probably going to try it because you're desperate. So another thing that can be used for that people don't realize is to diagnose the motor. Uh, not only to diagnose the enriching system, but sometimes you'll have a problem. Uh, customers will call us and say, well, you know, it won't run at all. So to determine if it's fuel or ignition, we'll say, all right, we'll try it with either this lever on, like that, with a, if you do that, you have to have a pretty high idle. Rev it up a little bit with a warm-up lever or push the key in. This one, we have our test here mounted just like this. This is key. So lots of customers will, well, first thing, do what I did. You push it with it off. The key off won't do anything. But you can push it. If the ball is hard, you prime the ball up, that'll work just like that. It'll shoot a little fuel in. Best bet is just to hold it in for up to 5, 10 seconds and uh, it'll start right up. It'll start, if you choke it too much, it'll start smoking a lot, below a bunch of smoke. You know you choked it too much. You gotta give it a high idle. If you didn't choke it enough, it'll cough, 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 cough. And then you know you have to rev it up. Uh, you have to give it more a choke. The, the cough is a lean pop, which means I need more fuel. Please push the key in. The motor doesn't say please, but, and uh, you do that and then it'll smooth right out. And then this is, if you know those, 
those little tips, you're going to be able to start a two-stroke really easily. And this is true on, on um, most Mercury and uh, Johnson & Evernood carbureted two-stroke outboards. Does not true on EFIs. Uh, some, most Yamahas have those flapper chokes that I just showed you. Yeah.